today I will be showing you how to clear the memory in your PCM completely uh, so that you can clear those tables in there for shifts or fuel trims, whatever you're working on. On this one in particular, the video I'm taking it for is for um, transmission shift point issues and engagement quality. You know, drive to reverse, reverse to drive, banging. So just pulling the negative is not enough. You need to drain the capacitors in the PCM. So in order to do that, we need to pull the negative, unscrew it to 8 mil, pull to the side, put a rag or insulator on there of some sorts so it can't contact again. And we're going to pull the positive cover off here. Take a jumper wire like this with alligator clips on it. Of thin gauge is fine. Make sure your negative, make sure your negative is off, and insulated from that post so they can't have no juice flowing through it. And then we're going to put it on here. Put one on that side. You can keep the positive on the terminal there. And then we're going to put the other one on here, on the actual terminal that goes to the body and the engine and all that stuff. And make sure your ground again is covered. After five to ten minutes. We can pull these off of here and reconnect that negative, and then we can learn the shift points, or you, it can learn the fuel trims, whatever you're fixing, and uh, it'll do it from scratch instead of off a, a based learned value, um, which in a lot of cases, especially with trans concerns, especially on explorers, you will continue to have the issue even after disconnecting the negative or us four technicians have a scan tool we can clear the memory so nothing's guaranteed besides this so it's a good idea to take five ten minutes and uh, clean up your work area and let it reset first thing we need to do is learn the idle values so get that negative cable back on and then come in the car turn the key on And wait 10 seconds so we can learn the stop value of the throttle body. And it may do a sweep also, depending on your calibration, to get a full sweep. Then you can go ahead and start it. And let it idle for 5 to 10 minutes. Make sure all your accessories are off, like the uh, AC and your and your wipers and your headlights that are going to pull a load in the generator and all that make sure everything's off and let it warm up a little bit so it can learn the idle values and from there we can go on a test drive and I'll show you how to do that so we get a good learn value on that too when you go on that test drive finally you need to shift through the gears first through fifth with a light acceleration so we can really learn all of the, the shift points on there now there's Ford says and a lot of people will say otherwise that it, uh, it it really doesn't learn any the transmission adaptive learning really doesn't start until 185 but believe me from start up on it's learning because I can go through on test drives, especially on the, the super duties of torque shifts, and you'll fix something or, or not even nothing to do with the trans, and you'll reset that memory in the trans, and you'll go for a drive, and it'll flare like crazy until you get a few blocks down, which, mind you, it's still cold, and then all of a sudden you get to a stop sign a few blocks down after it's been driven through the gears. Guess what? It's back to normal already. Now what I think Ford and everybody else is talking about is that the fine points, the fine shift uh, exact milliseconds and everything it uses for timing of the shifts is not being learned until 185, 175 on or hotter. So it's something to note. Get your get your initial learning done and then you know within the next few days just be mindful to not uh, do any aggressive driving or behavior and it'll learn the shift points properly.